pounds worth of capital to help social enterprises and charities reach more vulnerable and disadvantaged uh, communities across the Midlands. As it stands, the scheme is due to expire in April 2021. <laughs> the Treasury told us they will announce a decision on its future later this year. But places like this hope it will continue so that they too can keep on giving. Catherine Reid, ITV News. Police officers in the West Midlands have been told they are allowed to take the knee at future Black Lives Matter protests if they wish. It follows weeks of protests across the region following the death of George Floyd in America. The Chief Constable of West Midlands Police says racism is not an issue the force can be impartial about. Now, here's something I haven't said in quite some time. It's time to take a look at some sport. The Premier League restarted tonight with the first game since lockdown began in March. And it was a goalless draw between Aston Villa and Sheffield United. Ahead of the game, those inside Villa Park paused to honour those who've died during the coronavirus pandemic. The players and match officials then took a knee at kickoff in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. There was a controversial moment in the first half when the ball appeared to cross the line, but Sheffield United weren't awarded the goal. It ended nil-nil. And finally, there have been very heavy showers today and the heavens certainly opened up last night when the skies across the Midlands were lit up by a thunderstorm. Rain battered down, leading to flash flooding in some parts. And James Clark has been looking through the images.